Adrian Newey to leave Red Bull? This is a big story. Hasn't been announced yet, but this is a big distraction for the competition's top team. After all, he's been with Red Bull nearly 20 years and is the most successful designer in the modern Formula One era. <laughs> It was all over the news yesterday, Adrian Newey about to leave Red Bull. This is a man who can make or break a team and departing Red Bull will leave a hole. How big a hole? That's debatable. And what's brought all this about? Well, he's just lost confidence in the team and the management. He and Christian Horner have been close for quite a long time, but that all changed when Christian was accused of inappropriate behaviour towards a female employee, and following an internal investigation, he was cleared. I'll come back to that in a little bit. So if Adrian leaves, who's likely to fill his shoes? Insiders tell me it'll be this man, Pierre. He's been with them since 2013, holds a PhD in fluid mechanics, and Christian holds him in high esteem. He's worked on the 22, 23, and current year's cars, and they, as we all know, are world beaters. Certainly Adrian's departure from the team will mean more internal unrest and uncertainty, and it's never a good thing when this sort of thing plays out in the media ahead of a formal announcement. Typically, management would want this all going on behind closed doors, but with so many people involved, and trust me, there are a number of people who would have wind of this, uh, and many of them would be happy to cause um, the team some damage, it was always going to be tricky to keep it quiet. Yes, Adrian has a contract until the end of 2025, but contracts can be broken, so I don't think that would stop him from leaving early. And where would he likely go? He was spotted at Bologna Airport last week in Italy. Ferrari's headquarters is not too far from there in Maranello. He popped up on an Insta post at Mugello Circuit with driver Thomas Biaggi, but do we read much into that? Probably not, he's been to that track before, uh, about a year ago. Of course, Ferrari would love to have him. They've got Lewis Hamilton, and to bring a designer of Adrian's caliber to the team would be a, a, a huge win for them. But are they the front runner? I don't think so. Uh, he'd have to move to Maranello, or at least spend a lot of time there. Uh, would his family, including his wife Amanda, prefer that? Uh, when perhaps he could stay in England and work with the likes of Aston Martin. Their headquarters is a mere 25 minutes from Red Bulls, so that would be a big attraction. And Lawrence Stroll has been courting Adrian for some time now, and he has very deep pockets. Lawrence, I'm talking about. And maybe Fernando had wind of the Adrian Newey situation and that played some part in him re-signing early on a multi-year contract. But if Adrian does leave Red Bull, he can't roll up the next week at Aston Martin or Mercedes or Ferrari. He's got to serve out a non-compete period, a gardening leave as you'd probably call it. And that, I believe, is 12 months in his case. So it could be that if he works to the end of 25, he sits out 26, he may not be working for somebody else until 27. I don't think so. I think they would work something out because all of this can be negotiated. And when it comes to working, uh, there's nothing stopping someone like an Adrian leaving Red Bull and then working at his home on a design for a car for six or 12 months and then rolling up at his new employer on day one and saying, look, let's test this. That's doable. And what of Max Verstappen, Red Bull's star driver? For the time being, I see him staying at Red Bull. No one else has a car capable of beating the Red Bull, so it would be... Um, Foolish to jump ship this year, maybe not even next year. But I've been told by some technical journal friends of mine that the 2026 engine is, what's the technical term? Sh not that I know anything about engines, but if that is the case, Max certainly won't want to be hanging around and driving a sh box in 2026. But let's say Helmut Marco leaves Red Bull and goes to Aston Martin. Well, there's a clause in Max's contract, I believe, that allows him to leave if Helmut leaves. And he could follow him easily over to Aston Martin. Imagine that lineup Max Verstappen and Fernando Alonso. That would be a formidable driver lineup. And while we're on the subject of Fernando Alonso, you can grab one of these hand signed and hand numbered prints at kimelman.com. He'll sign 100 in Imola, and I think at this point there's about 19 left. Back to Mr. Newey, um, the car that he's designed, the current Red Bull car, is some half a second a lap quicker than the nearest competitor. That is a huge margin in this sport, and despite little having changed in the way of regulations over the past two and a half years, no other team has managed to make up any of that gap. Many say that a designer of Adrian's calibre is worth more than the best driver in the world. 
And while his departure would probably have little effect on this year's championship, 2025 and onwards would be a completely different situation. Let's go back to that Christian Horner investigation. It was thought that the everything's okay, there's nothing to see here verdict handed down by an independent barrister would put that matter to rest. Well, clearly it hasn't. Another inquiry with the King's Council was launched after the accuser exercised her right of appeal. She changed her legal team, represented her evidence to this KC in the hope that the original decision would be reversed. She still wants to return to her role at the team at the moment. She's on leave, so she's still being paid. But there's a decision on that appeal due mid-May. The F1 world, and probably you, will be very interested to see how that pans out. Adrian, though, has clearly had enough of all this shenanigans, along with the power struggle uh, that is currently going on in the team. And while Red Bull yesterday stated that they were unaware of any official notice from Adrian to serve notice and leave Red Bull Racing, there is clearly more to come with this story. For those who don't know much about Mr Newey, he's worked in both Formula One and IndyCar as a race engineer, aerodynamicist and a designer. He's one of the greatest engineers in Formula One history. He's designed championship winning cars for Williams, McLaren and Red Bull. He designed last year's RB19, which was the most dominant Formula One car in history, winning 21 out of the 22 races. That's more than 95%. So we've touched on Max, Christian, talked a lot about Adrian, but what about Sergio Perez? Does this impact him? He's out of contract at the end of the year and wants a multi-year contract. At the time of recording this, he's had three seconds, a third and a fifth. Now that's a pretty handy start to the year for Red Bull's second driver. And the threat of losing his seat has perhaps played a part in his consistent form, but it's unlikely he'll get a three-year deal. More likely, it'll be a one-year deal, uh, but Christian has said that they're in no rush to re-sign him. The intimation was that if he gets that security of a contract extension, he might go soft, scale back his efforts. So a decision on his future in this sport might not come until September or October this year. And while we're speculating, uh, there is talk that Kimi Antonelli might replace Logan Sargent at Williams after Miami. That would give Williams a great hometown hero story in Miami, and then the following week, another hometown hero story at Imola. Admittedly, uh, Kimi going to a team like Williams, which is towards the bottom of the ladder, would mean he wouldn't be under the same type of pressure as, say, Oliver Behrman was when he stepped into Carlos Sainz's Ferrari in Saudi. But that would be a delicious story for the world, wouldn't it? An Italian driver in front of the Italian fans. But he would need the FIA's permission because he is under 18 years of age and they need to say yes if he's going to race, but it would be the first time we've had a 17-year-old racing since Max Verstappen. There's still plenty more about this story to come and we'll be waiting with bated breath to find out what transpires. If you've enjoyed this video, uh, please hit the like button and for those of you who haven't subscribed, here's your chance. You can pre-order these bucket hats at kimelman.com and yes, I fixed up the omission of Tasmania on the map and for a whole lot of extra content, check out this. Thanks for watching and stay passionate. Give me a look here, Giovinazzi. Stop it, Giovinazzi. Um, where was he? Mum, 2022. I can't even find it. Can I?